Graham and Jim Kelly of Bridgewater will bowl against the team of Marie Lafreniere of Northampton and Bill Clough of Warren in a two-string roll-off for all the marbles, $2,000 on Candlepin Super Bowl. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary and I guess we should say welcome back. We finally straightened out all this football business and we will be with you here every Saturday now until next spring or actually beyond that until next fall. Now if you've been wondering what we've been doing in the last couple of months, well, for one thing our director Phil Rubin has been busy with his woodworking kit down in the basement coming up with a snappy little number. We'll get to that in Matchable a little bit later on. As for where we stand now, well, we stand on the threshold of someone winning $2,000. Marcel Aiken and Al Josefiak, you may remember, were the last people to win on this show. But however, since that was the last week of our series at that time, we bumped them off to next week. And they'll have a shot at that time of $2,000 for winning four straight weeks. But now the matter is at hand is very simple. We've got two people in a roll-off to determine the winner of two grand. So let's get on with it. Diane Wiley and Marie Lafreniere will roll it off for us. Start. Right there, catch it. Diane Wiley for spare. It up, She's got it. And Maria Lafreniere will go for 10, and she's got all of them. So we're off and running here as we return to you on Candlepin Super Bowl. One box down, the gentlemen, Phil Clough and Jim Kelly will be up with their first frames as soon as we come back right after this. Give him a gift that says you thought about him. Time. Thanks, Dad. Give her a gift that says you think she's smart. I can sure use this, Mom. A gift for those who love the world around them. Honey, thanks. A gift that's really from your heart. This Christmas, let someone know how special they really are by touching their mind with Time magazine. What better way to keep them up with the world and help them understand the news that affects us all? Whether it's startling stories that rock the world or lighter looks at people's lives, you'll be giving a gift of words and pictures that makes the world exciting 52 times a year. Give him a gift that keeps on giving. Give her a gift that lasts all year long. Give them a gift that says Merry Christmas, time after time after time. Why not flatter someone you love with a full year subscription to Time? They get 52 issues in all, and you get Time's special Christmas rate, just $31. That's almost 20% off the basic subscription rate and 60% off the cover price. And we won't bill you until after the holidays. Call now and we'll send you this 1983 Time Pocket Diary to put under the tree to announce your gift. Like Time, it'll stay with someone all year long. It's so easy to give Time for Christmas. Just call our toll-free number, 1-800-621-7200. Give them time to smile, time to learn. Give them time to think and time to dream. Call 1-800-621-7200. Get time for 60% off the cover price. Merry Christmas. And get the pocket diary free. All right, here we go with the men now. Phil Clough first from Ward. Phil is married with three children. He's been on very often in the last couple of years. Almost all of them. Jim Kelly working on a spare. Well, Bill went a little wide, but gets a spare anyway. And Jim is going to try to double up. He does. Three marks in a row, you know, is worth $50 in bonus money. And any mark after that is worth another 50 on top of it. 
Both bowlers working on spares. all nine of these for three in a row and comes up three short. Diane Wiley is from Northeast Ham. She's married with four children. She does her bowling at Orleans Bowl. And averages 100 there. All right, after three frames now, we've got 37 apiece. However, Maria Lafrenier and Phil Clough are working on a spare and here's Phil working on it now. Would like that to fall for a chance for three in a row, but no. that it can go. Just came one ball too short, and there's a 10. So after four frames, we've only left one pin standing. We've had either spares or 10s in all our boxes. A seven-pin lead now after four for Lafrenier and Clough. Remember, this is a two-string roll-off. We'll switch lanes for the second string, and then we add up the totals, and the winner will pocket $2,000. Back door. Uh-uh. And we have a possibility of giving away another $2,000 next week. Marcel Aiken and Al Josefiak have won three in a row. And should they win next week four in a row, they would pick up $2,000. Halfway through, no change. 64 for Lafreniere and Klopp, 57 for Wiley and Kelly. Kelly with his shot at spare. Right on it. And 10. So after six now, we've got 74 for Lafreniere and Cloth and 67 plus for Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly. So we could even this thing up with one throw. No, twice Diane has only pecked out one pin. Cuts the lead to six, however. So Maria Lafreniere and Phil Clough add two pins to the lead. It's up to eight pins now, seven boxes through, but again, we've got 13 to go. Come on, We're seeing some big balls here. And a spare. So we've got matching marks in the eighth frame. Strike, which leaves them at 86 plus a couple, and a spare, which leaves Lafreniere and Clough at 94 plus one. That's on the spare, all of them. <laughs> now this is on the strike. All of them would be worth bonus money. Double strike is worth $50. A triple strike 
worth a thousand dollars. And if you've been watching Candlepin Bully in recent weeks, you know that four in a row is worth two thousand dollars. A nine box. So after nine now, Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly are set at a hundred. And Marie Lafreniere and Phil Klopper at 114 plus. Whatever Phil can do with his first couple of throws. Get six and he'll get to add his next throw. Oh, a spare three marks in a row. $50 in bonus money. Bill Clough and Marie Lafreniere are on their way to a big payday. If they can hold on in the second string. And if you haven't been keeping track, Match Bowl is worth $200. We'll try for that as soon as we're finished with our roll off. Strike here would be worth another 50. Nope, only two more. And a fine, intimidating opening string for Marie Lafreniere and Phil Klopp. As they finish up with 136, Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly with 107, a spread of 29 pins. But if you can remember back a few months, we had a spread of 55 pins, which meant absolutely nothing. We'll see what happens in string number two as soon as we come back. The information in this booklet could change your life. It tells you all about the Craftmatic Automatic Adjustable Living Bed. Hi, this is Bob Braun. And right now, many of you are probably in bed watching television with pillows underneath your head trying to get comfortable. Why do that when with the Craftmatic Automatic Adjustable Bed, you can adjust it to the position you would like to have for watching television, reading in bed, or just getting comfortable so you get the restful good night's sleep that you need for your good health. If you'd like information about this without obligation, let me send you this booklet. It doesn't cost anything except your time. Go to the telephone right now and call this toll-free number, and I'll send this booklet about the Craftmatic Automatic Adjustable Living Bed. To receive your free booklet by mail, call 1-800-228-1500. That's 1-800-228-1500 toll-free. Call 1-800-228-1500. New Center 5's meteorologist, Dick Albert, grew up like a lot of kids. Got it. Sort of. Dickie, those are for the picnic. There isn't going to be any picnic on account of the rain. Dickie, <laughs> why don't you help your father? Hi, Dad. Hi, Dickie. You know it's going to rain today? My son, the weather nut. Even back then, they should have listened to Dickie. Dick Albert, only on New Center 5. When I'm out there, I see my job as protecting the public. When you do get a call, everything is pumping because you're saying to yourself, do you have to secure the scene, call the additional help? I wonder what am I going to see, knowing very well that if you have serious injury out there, people are looking for you to take charge. You never get used to it. If you stay to the 55 mile an hour limit, I may never have to come to you. From the Massachusetts Safety Council and the Mass Auto Rating Bureau, Here's the string that will decide it now. Diane Wiley will lead it up. She and Jim Kelly down by 29 pins. But as I alluded to just moments ago, not long ago, Donna Doherty and Joe Donovan, I believe, were down 54 or 55 pins after the first string of a roll off and came back to win it. For a spare. Yep. They're making it tough, and there's 10 for Diane. Ten pins apiece in the first frame. on that leave and based on the spread in the match, Jim Kelly obviously could use a spare here. It's makeable. 
No. Almost got it with the ball coming back off the sidewall. And there's the spare. Two in a row for Phil Clough and Marie Lafreniere. Too bad for them we don't add them from the previous string. They finished up with three in a row. And ten. So after a couple of the leaders, Lafreniere and Klopp are up at 29 plus, and Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly are at 20. Well, there's another bid for spare. Just about identical to what Diane had in the first box. Mm. Nines. 13-pin lead in this one after three, so if we add them together, we've got a 42-pin spread with seven boxes to go. Well, there's a spare in the making. <laughs> and so is that. All right, there's one of them. Two of them. So these guys are making it tough for the trailers to get back into it. Matching spares in the fourth frame. The spread is still 13 pins in this one and 42 overall. Diane adds four to the spare. And Marie adds nine. Going for two marks in a row, and got it. <laughs> Halfway through in the second and deciding string. There you see Marie Lafreniere and Phil Clough at 71 plus, Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly at 51. Bill Clough looking for some more bonus money. Already picked up 50 bucks. Another mark here would be worth 50. And has a tough, but still a shot at it. Almost. Bill Clough and Diane Wiley have been waiting around an awful long time to get back here. Give you the scores first after six frames here in the second string. Marie Lafreniere and Phil Clough at 87 and Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly at 61. But Marie and Phil started this odyssey to the finals back on August 2nd. That was their last taping date. They were at the beginning of that series. They won three weeks in a row and lost the fourth week and then had to wait to see who they would play in the roll-off. Then, of course, we were off for a couple of months, so it's been about almost three and a half months since they first appeared with us. And actually, according to appearance dates, it'll be, well, just about the same. But obviously, they've been doing some practicing in the interim. We get a seven. And we get a big, big lead for Marie Lafreniere and Phil Club. Big lead in this string and a big one overall.
Two boxes to go now. Marie Lafreniere and Phil Clough at 101. Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly at 76. And remember, the leaders are carrying over a 29-pin lead from the opening string. Now, remember, next week, Marcel Aiken and Al Jusefiak will go for four in a row and $2,000. Challengers next week, Sharon Tierney and Michael Thoreau. Donna McCabe and Gene Gates. There's the lead in this one. 19 pins to make it a 48 pin lead overall. to be decided are the final numbers. And again, remember, right after we finish up here, we'll be back with Match Bowl. Another chance to show off our fancy box and give away perhaps $200. Celebrate something they've been anticipating now for about three months or so. A win of $2,000 in our roll-off and our championship here on Candleton Super Bowl. Let's look at the final numbers. In the final string, a 118 for the winners and 96 for the losers. So the totals, Marie Lafreniere and Phil Klopp with 254. Diane Wiley and Jim Kelly with a 203. But everyone gets a crack at match bowl. We'll be back with that as soon as this is over. I'm Bob Eubanks. Join Lee Merriweather and me for all the glamour and excitement of the 1982 Hollywood Christmas Parade. This is the 51st year of Hollywood's biggest spectacular with over 100 of your favorite stars, bands, and floats, which will make it the best way to start your holiday season. And it wouldn't be Christmas without a special visit from Santa. So don't miss all the dazzling color of the 1982 Hollywood Christmas Parade. The Hollywood Christmas Parade, December 12th at 3 on Channel 5. Yes? Special delivery. Hold it. I'm uh, McGruff, the crime dog. This was Detroit two years ago. John Petros was wounded, the crook got away, and our crime business was booming. I couldn't afford to leave, and I didn't want to leave. We might want to patrol up and down the alley. So John and his neighbors fought back. So everyone understand your assignment for this evening? Together with the cops, they formed a neighborhood watch program. Ah, uh, that's uh, John and his neighbor Walter today on the CB patrol. When they spot a suspect, they call the cops, and the cops are on their way. Hey, that's pretty fast, guys. Since this neighborhood program began, crime in John's neighborhood dropped 50% and property values doubled. We made a difference. And you can, too. So find out more. Contact your local law enforcement agency and help uh, take a bite out of crime. On the eve of the anniversary of Pearl Harbor, relive the passion, the drama, the fury of that fateful day that changed the course of world history, the story of Pearl. Wins again. We're at war. You and I have been at war for the last 18 years. The Japs have sent out a second wave of bombers. Oh, no! God, no! This is not war. It's murder! Pearl, a Channel 5 special, Sunday at 8. What you see before you here is a testament to what a bowling show producer can do when he's out of work for a couple of months, come up with a snappy new set. Now, inside all of these bins in front of me are postcards, of course, to participate in this bowl, match bowl. But since we've been off for a couple of months, obviously, as you can see, they're not full. So, in order to get them full, what we want you to do is send off your postcard to us. Now, on the back of the postcard, put your name and address and a number of pins between 4 and 10, and then send it off to Match Bowl, care of WCBB-TV, Needham, Massachusetts, 02192. And remember our old rule, only one postcard per person per day. All right, we're up to $200, lest you have forgotten. In the last couple of months, 
which we've been off. So let's see if we can knock it off. Our champions, Marie Lafreniere and Phil Clough, already have $2,000. So this is like kitty litter, I guess, in comparison, but it's still worth it. All right, we'll match seven. And let's see if we can come up with seven. Joanne Desaire of Quincy. Oh. Well, Diane, you had it for a second, but you've got to have it for more than that. Joanne uh, Desaire of Quincy, for sending your card in anyway, you get $25, and we'll bump up match ball to $250 next week. Now, as for our champions, Marie Lafreniere and Phil Klopp, let's have you up here. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's swing you around here so we can get a look at you. Now, last time, when you first started this, this was about three months ago in August. I, I take it you've been practicing. Back in July. Back in July. Yeah. When it, yeah. The last hate date was in August. You broke that up by the hour. I guess $2,000 wouldn't be worth that much then, huh? <laughs> started in July. Yeah, well, it, it was worth the wait. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. you've been practicing in the interim, huh? Oh, in yeah. the two months that we were off, you weren't watching football like everyone else. You were bowling, right? Oh, yeah. Plenty of bowling. <laughs> All right. How about the, the, the string that you had? Uh, you, you come off to a big lead. I mentioned that Joe Donovan and uh, Donna Doherty a couple of months ago had a 54-pin deficit, and they came back to get that. So even if you have a big lead after the first string, it doesn't necessarily mean all that much, right? No, it doesn't, but you bowl a little bit closer with a lead. Takes the edge off. So you're not just a silent partner. You will talk, right? Okay. <laughs> all right, congratulations. Thank sure, we'll see you back again. Yeah. All right, Phil Kloff and Diane Weiler, we have a chance at $2,000 more next week as Marcel Aiken and Al Josephiak go for their fourth straight win. The challengers next week, Sharon Tierney and Michael Theriault, who will pronounce his name properly for me at that time, and Donna McCabe and Gene Gates. So let's see if we can knock it off again. For everyone here at Sammy White's, I'm Brian Leary. Good afternoon. The New England Aquarium is a special kind of learning experience. You want to hold them? Nah.